Okay, so what we're doing now is we've moved off the scope display and we've gone to the vector network analyzer display. Now, if, if you're interested in doing Bode plots and you want to gain phase diagram, then this is an ideal thing to use. Uh, you know, it, back in, when I was in school, we had to manually work all the controls on the generator and the scope and make sure everything was, was just right and then take a whole bunch of data points and then go and graph the thing manually. And I can say that this is way better. When I'm trying to do some filter design or I'm working with op amps, uh, the, the first thing I think of is this little device here because it's so convenient to get a, a, you know, a really quick rough idea of what's going on to either a change that you've made in your circuit or you're just working with an initial design and you want to check your math. So this is really a good thing to do. To have so what you do here is you just get off the scope display and you click your your vector network analyzer button right here at the top and you get these logarithmic graphs here the top one is is going to be your gain and the bottom one's going to be your phase and there's a number of controls over here on the left where you can set the uh, start and stop frequencies and you can set how fine your step is going to be and I've got this set on the finest step right now and I'm using a large amount of gain on this right now. So what we're looking at right here is we have a parallel resonance circuit consisting of a 100 nanofarad capacitor I think is what it is. Yeah it's 100 nano, nanofarads and about a, a 310 microhenry inductor right here and these are in parallel as you can see and we've got an, a resistor to isolate this whole thing it's, that is a 1K value. And um, the designers of the system recommended that I use 1K for this. Um, the output impedance of this is 50 ohms. Initially, I started with a 50 ohm to sort of balance it, but um, they recommended something a little bit larger. Now, what you do is you use channel input A to look at the output of the generator that we're going to use to to stimulate this whole network with. And then input B is the response of the parallel circuit itself right here. So this, this is input B and this is input A right there. And you put your generator up here and you put all the grounds down on the other side right there. So what we're going to do, we got this all set up. We're going to click the start button and we're going to watch it work. So it draws the axis up there and then it starts plotting. So I just, because it's in the, because it's in the finest frequency step right here, 1.01, .01, it's going to take a minute to get through this whole thing. But we'll watch it work. And on the, on the right, you can see the, the oscilloscope display, and you can see the response of the, of the circuit under test, which is the blue trace, and the stimulus is the red trace. You can see how they're working together. And it's just about done. We're up to the maximum bandwidth pretty much of um, 200 kilohertz right here. So when it gets over here to 200 kilohertz, then it'll stop. Okay, it's pretty much stopped. Now, isn't that nice? Now it's just just like almost like the textbook where you have this nice peak at the resonant frequency right here and you also are fairly close to zero degree phase shift right at that part. Now one of the things they've added, which is nice, is they have this cursor that is telling us what the values are. So you can just go right up here to the peak roughly and you can measure what the frequency is. You can also take a look at your zero phase angle and you can know that you're really at re really right on zero right there. So that, that's a really fast way. And, and even with the very fine frequency step, it didn't take very long at all compared to doing it manually. So, so this is, I really like this, this little analyzer that they've got in here like that. So, so we'll take a break for a second and then we'll come back and we'll set up for the, um, the signature analyzer feature, which is the new, the whole new thing on this box. All right, so we'll be right back.